I gave Kanye West's new album, Vultures, a chance, okay? I decided, you know what? I believe in second chances, or third, or fourth. I don't know how many times I can cancel this man, but uh, I listened to it, and all I gotta say is, if you like this album, you gotta get your ears checked, and you should also go for a psych eval, because it's horrible. It's, it's god-awful, okay? You know what it sounds like? It sounds like dragging a garbage can across the driveway. It's not a pleasant sound, and no one likes to do it or listen to it. So, um, yeah, it, Kanye, still horrible. Yeah. Attack TV presents Go to Bed with Johnny. And here he is, that beautiful piece of man that is Johnny. Thomas Appleseed. Yes. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Go to Bed with Johnny. I am your host, Johnny Thomas Appleseed, and I have so much news for you that I can't dilly the dally anymore, and I gotta jump right into today's news with our first segment, which is, of course, Broken News. First up in Broken News, we've got MGK, Machine Gun Kelly himself. Oh my goodness. Okay, so Machine Gun Kelly debuted some serious new ink, uh, and the rapper, who is no stranger to getting tattoos, showed off his latest edition, which is a blackout tattoo that covers his upper chest and arms, leaving a cross design in the negative space where his older tattoos are still visible. Uh, apparently he captioned the picture for spiritual purposes only. Uh, it's too much. It's too much ink, okay? Uh, why? Whatever. I'm all for people just doing whatever they want and, you know, expressing themselves. But, I mean, Machine Gun Kelly, you could have just had someone grab you with, like, a forklift by the feet. And just dipped you in a in a tub of ink for a few hours and seeing if that would have worked because you look like you look like a ballpoint pen when it explodes out of out of the end, you know, and everybody gets really upset because no one likes when a ballpoint pen explodes because ink just goes everywhere. And it's a real mess. <laughs> also in the news we have Madonna! Oh my gosh, yes, the material girl who is living in a material world. Okay, what's Madonna doing out there? Madonna is touring. She's busy. She is a busy superstar icon. Madonna can't be held down, though. She can't, she can't physically be held down by the gravity, which it tried. Gravity tried to take her down, John Mayer style, and... You know, she got right back up. That's right. Mid-performance during her tour, Madonna took a tumble uh, off of a chair when her dancer slipped and fell, and she went down with them because she was sliding on a chair, and she just fell on her buttocks. Okay? Uh, it happens, but she handled it like a pro. She laughed a little bit, but then she kept singing, so that's great. That's good for you, Madonna. Only you. No, not only you. Plenty of performers would do it because they always say the show must go on, even if Madonna falls on her ass. <laughs> also in the news, we have someone who we have not spoken about in a while, and honestly, I kind of like it like that. But no, we are talking about Tom Sandoval. Scandoval. Tom Sandoval is apologizing, this time after clumsily comparing the attention put on his headline-making cheating scandal to that of O.J. Simpson and George Floyd. Uh, it's just not the same in any capacity whatsoever. It's a, not even... Sometimes you just wonder... Why idiots can make it. And the smart people sometimes fall behind. <laughs> Sandoval said, I'm not a pop culture historian, really, but I witnessed the O.J. Simpson thing and George Floyd and all these big things, which is really weird to compare this to that, I think. But 
do you think in a weird way it's a little bit the same? No. No. Nobody thinks that's the same in any way, weird or not weird. No one at all was comparing you to OJ or George Floyd. It's completely different circumstances and scenarios. Complete, it, it, it doesn't compare at all, Tom. Tom. <laughs> Who gave you the shovel to continue digging at your grave, okay? It's deep enough, buddy. You only need to go six foot to put the casket in and start putting the dirt back on top. <laughs> Also in the news, we have Katy Perry and Jordan Sparks. <gasps> okay, so I had mentioned how Katy Perry is allegedly leaving American Idol after this season. That is right. She wants to maybe move on and, you know, float in the wind like a plastic bag, drifting through the wind, wanting to start again, you know. But apparently Jordan Sparks made a comment on social media after this announcement came out and said, Hey, I heard you need a spot filled. Uh, I volunteer as tribute, all Hunger Games style. Put me in, coach. I'm Jordan Sparks. I won this thing, okay? And I am an icon living. Put me in. I would love to see Jordan Sparks on American Idol. It makes so much sense, okay? I wish, honestly, that it could be Jordan Sparks. Maybe like a... Maybe like a... David Archuleta, you know, throw someone random in there. Someone who didn't win, maybe. You know, there's just so many options that you could do to make this like a whole thing. All nostalgia, you know, it's like a coming home thing. Yeah, Daughtry could be on there. Some people are saying Miley Cyrus is in talks for it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Who should take Katy Perry's place on American Idol as a judge? <gasps> also in the news, we have Love is Blind, which usually we talk about in a whole segment, but I haven't finished catching up on this season, so we're going to get to that later. But uh, we are going to talk about some, some stuff that is going viral right now. Love is Blind's Chelsea Blackwell is weighing in on fans' reaction to her claim that she has been compared to Megan Fox. Viewers were buzzing all weekend about Blackwell's resemblance, or lack thereof, uh, to Megan Fox after the event planner and flight attendant told Jimmy that she had often been told that she looks like the Jennifer's Body star. Oh my goodness. Okay, she said, uh, it would be a great time for those who have said that I look like, that I look like Megan Fox to speak up. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I see it every once in a while when she turns like this, or like this, or like this, or like this, or like this. Here's the deal, okay? This is a lesson to be learned, guys. We don't tell the people in the pods what we look like because, therefore, love truly isn't blind, clearly, um, apparently, because this man was very disappointed. Yeah, and then I think he ended up calling her clingy, which is just messed up. Okay, we don't like you, Jimmy. We don't like you right now. <laughs> also in the news, we have Adam Sandler. Yes! Oh my gosh. Adam Sandler accepted his award at the People's Choice Award. It was the Icon Award, because he is an icon living. He really is. He confused that award with the People's Sexiest Man Alive Award. Yeah, he had a funny acceptance speech, let me tell you. Adam Sandler accepted the People's Icon Award at the 2024 People's Choice Awards after a sweet onstage tribute from friend Jennifer Aniston. He started his acceptance speech by joking that he had mistakenly heard his agent tell him that he had earned People's Sexiest Man Alive title. Sandler said that he had written a speech for that honor instead of the People's Icon Award. He said, my name is Adam Sandler, and I am the sexiest man alive. Can I get a hell yeah? Whoa. Whoa. That's better than this whole hot one to touch the high me. Adam, I love him. I love him. Well deserved, because he is an icon. Uh, and I'm so proud to see that. And I'm so glad that Jen Ann was the one to award it to him. That's amazing. I love that. Also in the news, we have Tiffany Haddish. And this time, not for a DUI, but 
maybe a DU fly. I don't know. I think she was drinking something. She was sipping on something. But she posted a picture on an airplane, and she stated that she was on her way to Israel to learn and see with her own eyes. Sometimes I just think these actors take on way too much that they just don't need to. It's not in your job description as a public figure to jump into politics and world issues, okay? You can use your platform for good and help make changes, but I just think sometimes don't dip your toes into that political water, okay? Especially if you're uneducated. I get it. She's saying that she's going over there to get educated, but it feels tone deaf. It feels wrong. I didn't like it. <laughs> well, guys, that's all of the broken news I've got for you, but don't go anywhere because it's time for Hyper Headlines. First up in Hyper Headlines, we've got Taco Bell. Oh my gosh, I could go for a Crunch Wrap Supreme and a, and a, and a, and the Mountain Dew Baja Blast Freeze right now. Oh my gosh, doesn't that sound amazing? Mwah. <laughs> Taco Bell is going to fill the Choco Taco sized hole in your heart, apparently. The ice cream truck staple that was discontinued in July 2022, uh, you know, it made us all sad, but apparently, the fast food spot is bringing their take on the Klondike Choco Taco this summer with help from Salt and Straw. <gasps> oh my gosh, are you excited for this? Did you like a Choco Taco? I mean, I like ice cream and chocolate anything. Okay, you could put that on anything. I don't like pickles, but if you put ice cream and chocolate on top of a bunch of pickles, I would probably eat the ice cream and the chocolate. And then maybe the pickles. I, mm, no, probably not. <laughs> also in the news, we have Vladimir Putin again. And this time he is with none other than North Korean's leader, Kim Jong-un. These two are people that I honestly do not want to see together. Because they're scary. One has, has a height issue that gives him like a, like a, a compensation issue. He's comp he's overcompensating. The other one rides horses shirtless and is just extreme. They're both extreme. It's a lot. Uh, but apparently, the Russian president Vladimir Putin has gifted the North Korean leader Kim Jong Un a Russian-made car. Yes, oh my gosh. The gift would violate successive rounds of UN sanctions on the North over Kim's nuclear and other weapons programs, which were based with Russian approval that ban the import of any vehicles or luxury goods into the country. But apparently, they don't care. I, I don't. That's great. That's great. That's where we're heading in 2024. These two getting along, working together, giving each other fancy luxury cars. Yeah. Why don't you guys just kiss already? Jesus. Oh my gosh. This is great. This is, this is great for us. Can't wait. Can't wait to see how this goes. Bunch of sociopaths meeting up. Fantastic. <laughs> Also in the news, we have Elon Musk. Oh my gosh. Okay, have you heard about this? Elon Musk has created the Neuralink, the Neuralink or whatever, the chip, the microchip in the person's brain. You know, the future, the future of everything, communication and social media and, 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 and technology. Elon Musk's Neuralink uh, implanted a chip into the brain of its first human patient in January on a mission to help those with traumatic injuries operate computers using their thoughts. On Monday, Musk provided an update saying the patient seems to have made a full recovery and can move a mouse around the screen just by thinking. That's scary, but uh, I don't know. 
I'll wait and see how that goes for, for that patient. Uh, I don't plan on getting a chip implanted into my brain. Last thing I need is them tracking me and, and using that chip to hack my brain and my narrow path, okay? I don't need that. Too easy to hack, okay? Kim Jong-un and Putin are meeting up, okay? And the last thing I need is them hacking into my neural link and controlling my thoughts and brains and turning me into a, 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 a weapon because I would be a weapon. If someone hacked this brain... That'd be a scary thing. <laughs> also in the news, we have Ruby Frank. Ruby Frank, who is the mom and former parenting influencer who was accused of child abuse. She was sentenced to four to 60 years behind bars. Yes, and the therapist and Ruby's ex-business partner, Jody Hildebrandt, who Ruby claims directed the abuse, was also sentenced to four to 60 years after they both pleaded guilty to four counts of aggravated child abuse. I mean, this story is insane. If you haven't read up on it, I say check it out, read into it, because I can't even get into it right now. It's too deep of a hole to dig, okay? And uh, she, she belongs behind bars. She's a horrible person. Uh, good luck vlogging back there, honey. Okay? Yeah. I hope you rot in that cell. <laughs> also in the news, we have a pesticide. Not very exciting. I know. Uh, apparently, a pesticide that has been linked to infertility in animals is showing up in the overwhelming majority of oat-based foods sold in the U.S., including popular brands Quaker Oats and Cheerios. That's great. So if you're eating your Quaker Oats oatmeal and eating your Cheerios, maybe someone's not pissing in your Cheerios. Maybe you're just eating pesticides, and that's pissing you off throughout the day. <laughs> this is dangerous. Okay, it's causing infertility in animals. What do you mean? Humans? We're animals, aren't we? Aren't we, a, aren't we a, technically an animal in some way? That's great. That's great. Feeding us pesticides. That is so like the United States. Yeah, feeding us those poisons. This is a literal poison that's, that's meant to kill pests. Okay, so what are they trying to do? Kill us off like a bunch of pests? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I bet they tell those government people and the really, really rich ones, don't eat Quaker Oats and Cheerios. There's pesticides in it. It's for, it's for population control. <laughs> well, guys, that's all the news I got for you. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Uh, but before I let you go, I think it's time we have a little pillow talk. Yeah, let's lay down. Come on, lay with me. No, guys, I'm so serious with this opening, okay? I told you that I didn't like Kanye's new album. Here's the deal. I gave it a chance. I tried to be the bigger person, but here's the deal. I already am the bigger person. Kanye West is a small, small man who, who has so many issues that he is unwilling to get checked out and diagnosed that I feel... Absolutely nothing towards him, okay, other than anger and disappointment. Truly, I'm so disappointed. And that should feel like a father telling you that he's disappointed in you. That should hurt deep down because that's what it's like, okay? I loved graduation, Kanye. Where is he? I miss the old Kanye. Straight from the, I don't remember what he says, okay? Because it was all garbage after, after graduation. And this, this was, this was just worse than Donda. One and two. And apparently there's going to be more than one volumes of this garbage. The man couldn't even get clearance on the, on the, on the, the samples that he used. Okay? Ozzy Osbourne said no. Okay? The Backstreet Boys, the people who wrote that, they said no. So where's the hit song that everybody was so ready for? Okay, here's the deal. If you listen to Everybody, the best part is the beat and the parts where Kanye isn't talking. What's he say? Something about the stink? No, Kanye. Oh my gosh. It's so bad, okay? 
this man has lost it all. It's time to retire and go into hiding because he'd be doing himself a favor at this point. That was so awful. The fashion's terrible. The choice of words that he uses in the public format is horrendous. The the songs he puts out are just terrible. I can't. That's all I got to say about it. Oh, so much news, though. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Leave your comments down below. Oh, my gosh. Hit that bell for notifications for when I post. And I'll see you guys at the end of the week, okay? So uh, stay tuned because there's going to be lots of news, I'm sure. The world's coming to an end or something. Vladimir Putin and, and Kim Jong-un are going to do something, those crazies. Anywho, I love you all. Have a great night. Stay safe out there. And I will see you next time, okay? Good night, everybody. Good night. Goodbye. Yes. Ugh. Can't wait for my Kanye diss track. That's going to be fire. I'll put him in the ground. Yeah. That Kanye West. He's out here thinking that he's the best. Saying he's something like young Jesus. But he's not a god. He's just got me saying, oh my god. Get out of here with all your mess. This is some feelings that I gotta confess. <sighs> Graduations when I loved you best. Now you're a bad person. Yes. Hmm. Pretty good start, really. I should get in the studio. <laughs> Call the bed with Johnny. Dak Buster. Malibu, Malibu Nights. Will you talk dirty to me? Different unique takes on movies and TV shows. A word, because every episode is a drinking game built in. Always. Uh is this the it puts the lotion on? <laughs> also in the news, we've got it's not a beauty bear. That is someone. Oh, God. Ah, the Red Bull enhances the drunkness. Uh huh?